Alright guys, uh, so this is tutorial number 8 I believe and in this one we're going to be doing a very basic main menu. So I looked into it and honestly C++ interfaces kind of suck. I looked around and there's really no documentation for them at all which I thought was a little stupid. So anyways I decided I would try to make an interface using blueprints and I really liked how interfaces and blueprints work together. So my new stance is I love doing gameplay programming and all that sort of stuff in C++ um, but when it comes to implementing menus and things like that I would recommend using blueprints. If I'm honest I really could not find a single piece of up-to-date documentation on C++ with uh, interfaces which I thought was a little you know crap but whatever I tried using a blueprint and it actually worked really well and so I'm just going to use those anyway. So. This is going to be the only one out of our tutorials, our C++ tutorials, that does use blueprints. However, it is still going to be a C++ project. And that is because even if you're using a C++ project, you can still use blueprints to do your interfaces. In fact, you can do anything you want with blueprints in a C++ project. So the two are integrated really nicely with each other. So I'm just going to start by making a basic code project called uh, interface test. So we're just going to make a, a basic main menu. And if you've ever used um, C Sharp .NET forms before, where you drag and drop your stuff on the form, it's very very similar for doing interfaces in Unreal Engine. So they make it really really easy for you to go in and do everything that you need to do. Um, also another thing is maybe like if you've used Java Swing before, if you've ever used a form designer where you drag and drop buttons and stuff like that, it's exactly the same, so you'll have uh, no troubles at all. So we're in our level and um, I'm going to just start by deleting the player controller. I'm using a basic code project, but you could do this in a C++ um, first person project, third person project, whatever. Uh, I'm just using basic code. Uh, so this is going to be our starter level, and I want the starter level to be the main menu. So let's go ahead and script a main menu. Um, I'm gonna... how should I do this? I'll make a new folder, and I'll call it main menu. Inside of main menu, I'm going to add a, uh, where is it, user interface widget blueprint. And then I'm just going to call this one main menu. Now if you had any assets like buttons or background images or anything like that, you would also put them in this folder. So I'm going to open up my widget blueprint and I'll start by just dragging an image on here. And this is going to serve as my background image. We're going to make it so that the image is centered, so just get this so everything says 50%. And then just drag this out and make it a lot bigger than you need. That's what I find is helpful, so just make this way bigger than it needs to be. For my background color of my form, I'm just going to get like a really dark blue. So that will do. And now I'll drag out a couple of buttons. Make sure that you name these buttons uh, something sensible so that we can refer to them later. Button 84 is obviously a very undescriptive name. So I'm just going to call this um, start, uh, start Game Button. Now, um, to add text to our button, we just drag in text onto the button and now the text is a child of the button. For my text uh, I'm just going to make it black and it's just going to say uh, what can we what can we put uh, start game I guess would be fine and now we're just going to do the same we're going to drag in another button like so And then this one will just be quit game button. Drag our text on here to child it. And then we will just say quit game. Very easy. So now we need to add some functionality 
to um, our interface. Also, I'm just going to drag this on here, otherwise the buttons will not appear in the center of the screen. So just drag these onto the middle of the buttons. All right. The next thing to do is to add functionality to our buttons. So right now, if we were to click our buttons, they wouldn't do anything. So let's go ahead and go to the graph. We don't need these, so we can just delete them. Okay. So here I have Start Game Button and Quick Game Button. So we're going to click Start Game Button and then add the on clicked event. So when we click uh, our button, we can now do something with that, right? And then quick game button will add that as well. So when we click the quit game button, very, very easy, we just call the quit game function. And that'll quit the game for us. Very, very easy indeed. And then this one is going to be open level I haven't created the first level yet, but when I do, I'm going to call it level 1. So we'll just type in level 1. Um, and then let's drag out another thing here. And uh, we'll need to get our player controller. Right now we want to show the, or sorry, hide the cursor. So to do that, we drag out this, and then we go cursor, set show mouse cursor, set it to false, so they'll leave that unchecked so that we hide the cursor, and then we'll just drag that there. And I believe that is it. So that's basically the functionality for our form finished. What we're saying here is get the player controller, and then hide the mouse cursor. So pretty easy. I'm just going to compile that now. So if I play my game, my user interface does not come up, right? The reason it doesn't is because we haven't told it to come up. It doesn't automatically come up, we need to actually tell our level to bring it up. So let's go to Blueprints, Open Level Blueprint, right click, type in Begin and just add Event Begin Play. So this is obviously, this event is called when we begin playing the game. Drag that out. And we're going to create a widget. So now we're actually initializing that widget we created. And there's a really handy drop down menu here, so we just click that and then select our menu that we just made. Very, very easy indeed. So now we just drag, uh, just drag this out, type in viewport, add to viewport. And now we're basically adding it to the viewport. Although, we want to show the cursor. So let's do that as well. Um, let's see here. Right click. Um, get player controller. Drag that out. Cursor. Set cursor. Drag that in there. And that should be it. Um, that should all work now. So if we click play, our main menu comes up and our cursor is hidden right now. That is weird, but hopefully... Hang on a sec, let me just check what I've done here. So, um, if we go into level blueprint... Ah, you need to check this box so that it does show the cursor. I just forgot to do that step, so we'll compile, go back, and... We don't need to compile that, but I just will anyway. Now if we hit play, now we have our cursor on the screen, we can quit the game. As you can see, that quits out. If I hit play, start game. Right now that doesn't work because I haven't added a level yet, so let's do that now. Uh, let's see here. Where did I put my levels? I will just add a new level here, why not? So we'll type level, and then level 1. Right now level 1 is just an empty level, but hopefully that should work. Start game, no. Pretty sure I made it level 1. Let's have a wee look here. Graph, boots level 1. Uh, that might just require a compile. Let's have a look at that. So, compile. Everything seems to be compiled here. Let's open up level 1. Save selected. 
come in here, save. Play. No, that is not working right now, okay. Uh, let's see what we've done. It's basically all working, we've just got that one problem, so let's move. Let's move level one into our maps, maybe that's the problem. And this is all set to compile properly. Level blueprints should be all fine, that's all compiled. Let's hit play. Yep, and when we hit start game it opens up our level. Now right now our level is complete darkness and that's because we just added a new empty level with nothing in it. Um, but there you go, so we've added the functionality to start a new game and to quit a game, so that's all you really need. So anyways, that's a really basic um, interface. As we go forward, I will do more complex stuff with interfaces, but for now that is going to be all. So see you in tutorial number 9.